Hey guys, it's iPunish Tutorials here, and I'm going to be showing you guys today how to jailbreak um, iPhones and iPod Touches. Anyone, this is this is a universal jailbreak, so you really don't have to worry about um, which model it is. You can do any generation. So there are a few things you need to know first. Okay. Um, side note. You will need to have a jailbroken device if you want to understand and perform any of the tips and tricks in my following videos. So this is a pretty good tutorial on how to jailbreak your phone. Alright, so you're going to need an iPhone or iPod Touch, doesn't matter which model. You're going to need an Apple USB connector cord. Um, doesn't matter what type, if it's a new one or the old one. You're going to need a Mac or a PC and you're going to need a valid internet connection. So, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, now if you're like me, um, or on my computer, we're going to be using Windows today. So when I plug in my iPhone, obviously iTunes pops up. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug in my iPhone so I can close iTunes once um, it recognizes that I plugged my iPhone in. Um, and you know too, um, one tip for when you're jailbreaking your phone and you're running the program, one thing um, is that you probably don't want to have anything else installing in the background while you're doing this. So that's why I'm closing um, out iTunes right now because I know that will pop up as soon as um, I plug in my iPhone. Um, I'm using a 3G 16 gigabyte model. So let's just wait. Um, this does work on only Mac and PC. Uh, it works on any version of PC from uh, XP and up, including Windows 7. And it also works on um, Mac 10.4 and up. Okay, so I don't need to worry about Messenger. I'm going to open up Internet Explorer, and then we're going to go to a website called www.blackrain.com. And then in Rain, you're going to replace the I with a 1. So it's kind of like, you know, kind of techy. Alright, so here's the website right here. And since I'm using Windows, there's going to be an Apple and a Windows logo. This will actually, you know, that doesn't make any sense. It's going to be Apple's and uh, Windows logo on both operating systems. This does work on um, every internet browser, including like homebrews. Um, so, we're g well, yeah. So, since I'm using Windows, I'm going to click on the Windows logo. And then it will say, um, let's close this out. Um, save or run. Okay. Here's the thing about running and saving. If you want, you don't really have to save it. You can just run it. But the thing is, is that this is probably about a 0.00001% chance this will ever happen. But if uh, Black Rain fails during the jailbreak and you have to restart it, um, you can just like save it to your desktop so you don't have to go back to the website. Um, it's entirely up to you. Um, I'm gonna run it, and then it will say, "Are you sure you want to do this? This software program is not verified." Okay, run. Alright, so now we have another window that pops up that says Black Rain Jailbreak by Jihan RC3. Uh, there's one button that says Make It Rain. Uh, make sure your iPod is or iPhone or iPod is connected and go ahead and click that. Alright, and it'll say Entering Recovery and then your phone should shut off. And then it will go to the Apple logo and then it will say Please Connect to iTunes. Don't, don't touch your phone. Just leave it plugged in and then it will, should go to this guy standing in the rain and then obviously uh, iTunes has detected a phone in recovery mode it cannot be used unless you restore it with iTunes well don't listen to them because it's being restored right now by black rain so we're gonna go ahead and close iTunes and there's gonna be another window that pops up and it's from black rain again so your jailbreak is done once your di uh, device reboots blah 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 alright so um yeah, and you know, donations, forget about the donations, he has enough money. Um, alright, okay. So then it still say done, wait for reboot. And then eventually after that guy goes away on your phone, it should go to the Apple again. Well, it should actually turn off and then it will go back to the Apple logo. And then that's what your phone is doing right now, it's rebooting. So I guess if you really wanted, you could unplug your phone, but I'm not going to unplug it until um, it's, um, you know, like all ready and stuff. So, we'll just wait till that's all booted up. Um, yeah. Alright, so it should be done. Slide to unlock. 
And then on the next page here, there will be an application that says Black Rain. We'll go ahead and click on that. And then this is to all 3GS users. Do not install Rock along with Cydia and Snow. I'm not sure what Snow is actually. A lot, okay, allows iPhones to be used with other carriers. You can, you know, if you wanna um, unlock your phone, you can go ahead and do that too. Once it's done downloading, it will probably, um, there's a button too that says uninstall black rain. I wouldn't do that. Once that's done, it should show up that you have Cydia and um, uh, Snow won't show up on your phone. It's not a really an app. It's just um, kind of saying that's just install it in your phone. Um, other than that, um, there will be Cydia on your phone. So you're going to want to go ahead and open up Cydia and it will say what type of user you are. And then just click on user and in parentheses it will say graphical only. So just click on that. Um, and then we'll say there's some updates available. To click on all updates. Don't click on essential updates because it will, trust me, you'll, it will, um, you know, come back around in the new future. All right. Um, and that's pretty much it. In other videos, I'll show you how to start unpacking and getting ready for a jailbroken phone. Uh, Till next video, bye.